All right, so we'll see if this makes it to the VODs channel later. Um, but, you know, I did want to play some Stardew, but it's in the middle of the day. And, you know, Kat's in Europe, so... I would assume she's asleep. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to play single player, but I'm going to take it a bit slower because it's single player and I can. And I'll also take the time to kind of make it a bit more beginner friendly. So I'll talk about what you should do, at least what I think you should do. I'm not like a pro player by any means. But I've played this game enough that, at the very least, I'm not going to, like, overload you with the pro strats. It's kind of just what I'd do on the first day and just break it apart for someone that hasn't really played this game before. So, I think these videos will be kind of spread apart. I don't know. Just whenever I feel like it. I'll have to label them separately. So, all right. Um, let's go through with that. So the first thing you've got to do is pick the farm type, right? So a standard farm is typically just a big plot of land. There's nothing really interesting going on. There's a little pond. This one's probably the most beginner friendly. Um, because you can just stick to, uh, just expanding in a pretty linear way. But then the other ones, they kind of offer a specialist thing. So, Riverland, if you want to do more fishing, it's a good farm. The forest one, um, there's not much farming, but then there's a lot of resource materials. So, it's easy to get stuff like hardwood. Hardwood is used a lot to get upgrades, but then it kind of falls off at the end. So, one of the complaints people had of this game was just how hard it is to get hardwood. Um, so that makes your life easier when you're getting upgrades. But then later on, it doesn't really matter too much. Hilltop farm, um, this is more of a mining farm. I haven't really played this one, to be honest, but, you know, it's oriented around mining. So each playstyle kind of offers different things. This one, the wilderness, it has monsters. This one's probably the one that is played the least, just because having monsters on your farm is annoying. But you do get rewarded in terms of combat. But early on, it sucks. Unless you have a weapon and buy a good weapon, you're just gonna suffer because things will just harass you and when you're trying to wrap things up for the day, it's just annoying. I wouldn't recommend this one if you're beginning. Four Corners is for multiplayer, so unless you're playing multiplayer, just ignore that. The Beach Farm, this was one of the newer ones. Um, so this one's like a bit of a mixed bag, but it doesn't have farming, and um, for automation, it's a bit annoying, because there's sand. It says, uh, sprinklers don't work in sandy soil. And this is the newest one that got added, which you would have seen me play with Cat. Um, you start with a free coop. And you get chickens, so it's like, you know. Um, so I'm not going to play this one, but I guess out of all those ones, I mean, I could go to the standard farm and be boring. Or I could pick one of the more interesting ones, like, say, forest, river, maybe hilltop, like, one of these three. I don't know, what are, what are we feeling? Should I go standard? Or should I pick one of the specialist farms and go, well, if you're going to be a fisherman, do this, if you're going to... Do foraging, do this, or a hilltop farm if you want to do mining. In my opinion, the way things are, at least what I've seen at the moment, fishing is really strong right now. You want to see hilltop? I ha I haven't played hilltop. At least I don't think so. So it might make it interesting. Um, just so the name is something that stands out. Um, I don't know what to... Alright, let's go with it. Let's try and make a character. Last time I did Wario, so... You know what, since I'm playing Chrono Trigger, I'll, I'll do Chrono. How about that?
That makes it easy. Then I'll know which one's which. Um, what farm is it? I think Guardia. Let's just call it that after the castle. His favorite thing. Um, all right, pick a favorite thing. It can be anything. It can be food. It can be an item. Cats. <laughs> sure. You want Mountain Dew? Alright. Here's the thing. All, all this does is there's a point at, in time in the game where it'll say that it smells like your favorite thing. So we can say it smells like cats or we can say it smells like Mountain Dew. I'll go cats because I was the first suggestion. Confirm he was first, so. Um, which pet? Or should I just random? Alright, star, pick the pet then. It's between these ones that I'm cycling through. Black cat? Alright. What's Chrono's eye colour? Does anyone know? I think it's green. Okay, um, I need a picture of Chrono. Hold on. Yeah, it's green. Thought so. Okay, so he has a... Scarf and then blue. This matters. This matters. I'd be surprised if there wasn't, like... Hang on. Yeah, I mean, that's close enough. And then... It's like blue. It's close, and then pants are like the same. Right, go back. important thing. And then his boots are boots. Sorry, I'm like adjusting the wrong thing. Okay, we're gonna keep the intro. Now, the other thing you can do with this, under settings here. Okay, so this is a bit to explain before the game even starts, but I would tick this, so the way the game works is you need to work towards opening a community center. It's this rundown building and you need to do a bunch of different tasks to get it opening again. Um, so what this does, this tick box here, it means it guarantees that you can finish it within the first year and that's a good thing means if you're capable it'll happen otherwise it's like more than likely you'll be in your second year and still trying to complete it um that's the first big goal of the game is get your community center done so there's kind of three phases to it first is the community center then you're kind of working in this phase that'll get you to an island and then there's the late game phase which is you know all the big money stuff and big completion goals so, tick that. Now, this doesn't matter too much. 
The reason there's Remixed is I guess people are getting tired of doing the same bundles again. So Remixed offers different bundles and you kind of have to adjust your strategy a bit. Normal, it'll offer the ones that were based in the game and they're in most strategy guides, so. But I pick Remix just because I've done them so many times. It's the same with mine rewards, right? Um, you can choose to go the ones that if you were to look up a strategy guide, it would be the same rewards every time. Or Remix where it's like, it'll randomize them a little bit. I like doing Remix just because it varies it up a bit. The other settings I don't really touch, so like, you don't really want that unless you really want to mess with combat at night. Um, profit margin, it's like, eh, yeah. If you want to speed up how much money you make and make it so you're earning money quicker, sure. But it's fine. Multiplayer cabins, this one's confusing, but basically... The way this works is, if you're gonna play with two people, you pick one. So it's you plus whatever number of people. If you're playing two player, it's one. If you're playing three player, it's two. If you're playing four player, it's three, etc., etc. And then you can choose if the cabins are like close to one another or they'll spawn on like opposite ends of the map. But we're not doing multiplayer. Um, random seed is like, if you want like, let's say you want to play single player, but then you want someone else to have the same single player experience as you, and you're kind of sharing the experience. You would give the seed. So then you're both running the same world. And that's it. So really, I only touched just that. But I explained the others. Now, most people will do this. Most people will do this, it's just the intro at the start, but we're not going to do it this time because it's in the interest of, like, you know, having the experience of, uh, starting fresh. Alright. I'm not going to read. <laughs> I'm just chilling and eating my snacks. But there's a meme about this. Long story short, you work a crippling... crippling job that sucks, and you, uh, decide to move to the country. What snacks did I got? I got this bag of ancient grain twists. It's like... Whole... What is it? Fragrant and complex spices contrast deliciously with the wholesome goodness of a special grain blend that is the source of Omega-3. They're just twists. They're pretty crunchy. What is it made out of? It's like rice, sunflower and canola oil, tapioca, yellow peas, ch peas chia seeds, quinoa seeds. And then it has chili, salt, turmeric. And a little cumin. Yeah, that was Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> so I opened the letter. Okay. I'll point it out that I'm not going to do things in the most efficient manner. But I think not doing things in an efficient manner is probably better. To be honest, I don't have much experience with this farm in particular. Okay, so, hello, you must be Chrono. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Farm's right over there if you follow me. It's nice that I can let the dialogue happen and not have to skip it. 
Okay. This is Gaudia Foam. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit of a groan, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll get that cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Yeah, it doesn't really explain much, so, you know, I understand that playing this for the first time is overwhelming. Ah, the new farmer. But it does get addictive once you're set up. Um, Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be more apt, though. Rude. Don't listen to her, Chrono. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades, which we're going to have to do anyway. Anyway, you must be tired from your journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Townspeople would appreciate that. Okay. I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Alright. <laughs> so, let me do a couple things first. Because, you know, I'm on a 4K screen. Just something a little more sane. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but this is my preference. Um, hold on. Something unrelated to Stardew. But I usually play music for myself. Because the music is nice in Stardew, but sometimes you get long periods of silence, so... At least I can do that. Alright. Unrelated. So, I'll start with a couple of basic things. So very early on, you don't have much inventory space. Uh, so, typically, the first thing I go for is setting up the plot of soil, assuming you get seeds. Most of them will give you seeds to start off with. And then chopping down some trees to get wood so you make a chest. That's like, first priority. So that's what I'm going to do first. Another thing, I guess I'm going, since I'm going super beginner, um, you can stay out until 2 in the morning. As long as you're inside your house at 2 in the morning, you won't get penalized. You won't have as much energy the next day if you don't go to bed, but as long as you're in your house at 2 a.m., you won't get penalized. Um, typically, at the start of the game, the latest you can leave anywhere and still get home on time is midnight-ish. So, just keep that in mind as, like, around midnight, don't push it too much. 12.30 is the absolute latest. Um, later on, that changes, but just keep that in mind. When it gets to midnight, start heading home. That's that's my rule of thumb. What else? Energy, you have this amount. Um, energy depletes when you use the watering can, the pickaxe, or the axe, and the hoe. Using the scythe or the sword to cut things doesn't use energy. So you can go around and scythe things if you want. So it's free. But the others, um, you know, whether you chop wood, dig, water, or that, it'll use energy. It'll start dropping. Um, when it gets low, it'll warn you. If you get to no energy, you'll become sluggish and move really slowly. So you don't want that to happen. You can replenish energy by eating. So there are foods you can go buy, or you can make certain foods. At the start, you don't really have much of an option. So it's like, you can eat food that you have in hand, or you can um, go buy it. So typically, I just kind of hold off. There's certain foraging foods you can gather to get food, and you'll see me do it. So just don't stress about it too much. I'll point it out as I'm going. 
What else? So I've covered energy. You get sluggish when you're slow. Um, as you do things, you skill up. So, you know, as you harvest, you get farming. When you hit these levels, you get a passive that, you know, gives you a bonus towards that skill set. So, ultimately, you want all of them to be max. Slowly, that'll happen, but you can just focus on one early on. So, the playstyle of this farm is oriented towards mining, so maybe I'll do mining, but I'll feel it out first, because I haven't played it first. But you don't need to stress too much about it, it's just, you can see your progress here. Friendship window. So, at the start, they want you to meet all the villagers. Um, so, quick thing about meeting people. Friday's one of the best days to do it. If you go to the saloon, everyone's there. So, easy. Um, talking to them gives a little friendship. Doesn't really do much. The way you get these hearts up is by giving them gifts. Every villager has a set of gifts they like. And gifts they dislike. So, if you give them something they dislike, friendship decreases. There are some things that, no matter the person, um, they'll dislike it. So, for example, if you give them... The garbage item, trash, literally, literally trash, they'll hate it. But if you give them something like a diamond, which is, I think, a universal like, they'll like it. Uh, with this, don't be expected to remember it. Just go to the wiki and find out. But once you've gifted something, you can click and you can see here. Yeah, okay. You know, this is what they like. But only once you gift them. But yeah, check the wiki. We'll be doing that as we go. Birthdays are also important. Um, they'll appear in the character's little profile, but also in town there's a calendar, which we'll see soon. Birthdays are huge because anything you gift gets a multiplier. So if you give them a gift they love, you can jump to like four hearts right away, almost. So remember birthdays. Uh, the reason you do relationships is because you get cutscenes. But also with uh, the characters that are single, you can pursue them and, you know, get married to them eventually. But that's why you do that. Some characters will also give you items when you make better friends with them. So an example that I do, this character here, uh, once you get to a certain friendship with her, she'll let you in on her greenhouse and you'll be able to grow tea. So that's one example. But there are others. Okay. So, let's do this. So this farm does give seeds. So your day should begin by checking the TV. So first, weather report will tell you what the next day is. Alright. So, the thing to look out for is rain. That means you don't have to water your crops the next day, so you can kind of plan ahead and go, okay. I don't have to do the morning ritual of watering my crops, so I could probably focus on something else tomorrow. The fortune teller will give you your luck report. So, luck is a weird thing. Um, it kind of affects different things in the game, but a lot of it has to do with just how you find items. So if there's a high luck day, like if you're in the mines, for example, you have more of a chance of coming across something that gives you ore. And later on, luck plays a big role with um, a particular thing you need to do. I won't go into it now, but at the start, you don't need to worry too much about luck. It doesn't have too much of an effect. It's not like you're, you're going to stop doing something just because it's a bad luck day. It's not really the case. It's later on. It kind of matters a bit more. Um, this is just tips for beginners. So, you know. Some of them, it's just what you would see on a loading screen. You don't really bother. But the last one is Queen of Source, um, which is on randomly every few days. I don't. I, I think it has a set schedule, if I'm not wrong. So sorry if I got that wrong. But when you see that, you get a recipe. So just be sure to check the TV when you wake up every morning. All right. Okay, cool. So, first thing I'm going to do, like I said, alright, is just clear a little plot. Just get this set up. So, I have 15. So I'll do 3 by 5. Yeah. Okay. 
This is just to get us started. All right. Then you have your watering can, and you just do this. So all the farms will start with this, with the exception of the new farm. All right. So once you've done that, now you ask, all right, well, what do I do? Okay. So very first thing I do Just chop a few trees down. And just clean up any random debris in the immediate area. With the exception of the grass, the grass doesn't count. But the reason you want to clear debris is because if debris gets too close to floors or structures, it'll break them. So you want to keep things relatively clean from where all your stuff is. This isn't too bad. Some other farms, they have a lot more junk near your house. So you need 50 wood. I hope this is helpful. <laughs> I don't know. But I wanted to play this today, and, you know, again, cat's not around, so... This is all I could think to do. Okay, so, chest. Um, you need to set up an area for where you want your chest to go. I kind of recommend putting it next to this initially. You can move them later. Alright, so, I usually, at the start... Because you have issues... Keeping things around, right? I only walk around with the hoe. That might sound weird, but just that. Um, because we're almost out of energy anyway. Actually, I'll grab the scythe as well, just for one thing. But I'll put it back. So, because you don't have much inventory space and it's pretty limited in what you can do. Alright, so before we go into town and start meeting people, because you need to meet everyone... What I like to do is go around and use the scythe and these these bushes things you see. Just swipe as many of them as you can. I'm gonna stop at about midday. That's the budget I'm giving for this. But the reason is every time you swipe one you get fiber, which is useful for crafting things. But then you also have a chance of getting a mixed seed. Which, I'm not having any luck. Uh, but what a mixed seed is, is like when you plant it, it picks a random crop for it to be. So it's going to save us some money so we don't have to buy seeds later. Once this initial crop is done. But yeah, it's free. It doesn't cost energy because you're using the scythe. So you just... Do a little bit of it at the start, because it clears the path a bit, so you can walk around your farm easy. It gives you fiber, but then also, hey, if you're lucky, you'll get mixed seeds, which... Yeah. <laughs> Come on, give me one. So I can illustrate the damn thing. I've had terrible luck today, it's okay. It's not going to give me one. But we also got to see a bit more of the farm, like how it's laid out. Alright, I said about midday, so let's just wrap it up. I think I can't really do much more. So I didn't get anything. That's fine. I'm going to keep the scythe on me, but I'm also going to go back. Put this in the chest. Okay. So now it's about midday. I'm going to head into town. As you're going around, just check little places like this. This makes a good gift. Um, for the purpose of this, I'm going to, like, go after Haley. In terms of dating.
So, whenever you see someone, try to talk to them early on. Okay, so this is the calendar. Um, check this as often as possible. Make notes and reminders if you need them. But the big thing is on Sunday, it's Lewis's birthday. So have a something ready to give him. Early on, it's probably going to be a flower like a daffodil or a dandelion. Just have anything ready. Those, either one of those two should work fine. Help wanted, you'll see a little exclamation mark. It's like a little quest. Do them whenever possible. When you're in town, check a bit, check a trash bin. But do it when they're out of line of sight. Because if they see you get rummaging through rubbish, you'll lose friendship. But the reason you do this, because every trash bin has a chance of dropping good items. So some, like if it's outside of Gus's, for example, you can find food in there. Um, which is useful early on. Uh, alright, so let's just... Yeah, you're George. Oh, hey, see so you in the new guy, cool. Yep. Be around. But the first quest, you know, they want you to cultivate Harvest Parsnip and greet people. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, there's Granny. Um, we'll chase after her. Okay. Piaz, where you buy seeds and stuff. Crap, she's in my way. Hurry up. Is she gonna walk out? There we go. <laughs> Leah, hello, nice to meet you. Piazza is open till 5, doesn't open on Wednesdays. So just keep that in mind. Hey, it's Mr. Crono, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, the owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. A little agriculture could really inject life into the local economy. Okay. So, yeah. I wouldn't buy seeds just yet. We've already started with the parsnips, it's enough. Um, but, you know, as a rule, you kind of want to grow one of each crop at the start. Because there's multiple reasons. One of them is sometimes the quest will ask for a particular crop, and so you have it on hand, great. And there's also the community center bundles, which will get you to grow something from every season, typically. So that's why you get one of every crop. Crop being, you know, parsnip, bean, cauliflower, potato, and kale. Flowers, there'll be bundles with flowers sometimes if you do the remix bundle, but flowers, they're good for presents and good if you got bees, but, you know, more, more on that later. I don't want to overwhelm too much. Um, when you have 2,000 gold, you know, this is probably the earliest thing you're going to aim for, is just more, more space. So, that's what I'm going to aim for early on, is getting this. Because otherwise it's a struggle. Alright. I just went in there, because usually there's a couple of people. So, there's Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay, I'm Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone moves in. Having a farm around here could change things. Vincent. Oh, stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Check, keep tracking garbage. There we go. So I got a mixed seed from that fiber. Good. Alright, so there's Emily. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. All right. I'm going to go down to the beach real quick. The beach will have clams and stuff. A 
Okay. I probably should have pointed that out, but um, there's little spots in the ground that look like they have worms. You use the uh, high on them and you get stuff out of them. I'm Elliot. I live in the beach. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, I think that's it. For now, I just wanted to collect stuff. Because early on, I want to make money. So, any little bit of extra you can get. So, as you're playing the game, you're going to find things like artifacts. Um... When you hover over, it'll say Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum. So the museum is over here. Um, okay. I mean, we're fine to sit through this because it's not multiplayer. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What says you found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. Very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it's yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. And who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send you away. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring objects to the front desk. Okay. There we go. And yeah, for doing that, hey, money. Good. One step closer to that goal. Alright, I guess I'll briefly touch on... Oh, wait. Clint. He closes at four. <laughs> of course he does. I didn't make it in time. That's where you upgrade stuff. Um, alright. There's two ways to play this game. One is to, like, be all community-oriented and do the community center. The other one, which is, I guess, slightly harder is going the corporate route. So Joja is just, think of massive corporation trying to crush the small town. They're the villains. But you can choose to side with them. Um, you're rarely gonna go into this building. I wouldn't bother. There's only one time you'll want to come here. Um, that's either to find um, Shane who works here if you want to gift him something or there's like something later that involves the Jojo Mart. But early on, I like to come here because there's a patch of this here and... Okay, it didn't give me any seats. I've only found one that is such bad luck. There's two spots that I, I like to check early on. That's one of them. There's Sam. So this is what your first day is going to be, pretty much, is you're just going to be walking around, but whilst we're walking around, we'll do what we can. This is another patch you can check. Um, you need to get rid of the stone. But you can also do this, just kind of go around the edge and get most of it. Then there's one less item slot. Alright, cool. I can get the rest later. I just don't like carrying too much at the start because it means if you find foraging, you don't get to really keep as much. Okay, there's Robin, Demetrius the Wanker. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I can't help. I don't like Demetrius. Okay, Linus. I found a leak, it's foraging. So anything that is labeled as forage, Linus loves that stuff. So just go gift. And if we go to Linus, you'll see an X. You can only give two gifts per week. Um, 
can't really see his full friendship value, but yeah, we've, uh, we've increased friendship. What's wrong with Demetrius? Are you kidding? He does that whole elitist speech where, like, he doesn't want anything ruining his daughter's bright future, and he's kind of hinting, hey, you know, she's hanging out with, with you, um, I, I would hate for something to ruin her future. And it's just like, what do you mean? It's like, I run a farm. I'm, like, contributing to the community. What what do you mean? Um, I'm the bad influence, really? And then he has that whole thing about, like, being so technical. Like, Robin asks him to bring a fruit. And he brings a tomato. And he's like, oh, well, what? Tomato's technically a fruit. Like, yeah, it is. But, like... Imagine you, your wife said she's making you a fruit cake for your birthday. And then you're all excited about your birthday cake. And then she plops down a cake that has tomatoes on top of icing. Like, you're going to look at her weird. All right, anyway. That's town in the mountains. Last thing of the first day. I like going into here these woods, and again, just with the scythe. Get as much of this as you can. I've had terrible luck. Sometimes I've gotten like 10 of these mixed seeds, and that's great. It like covers the next crop. Um, but during spring, your daily routine should involve coming down here. Oh, there's only one today. All right. That, I've had terrible luck today. Um, but there's spring onions around here. With these, I'd... S okay. In this tab here, collections, it represents things that you've shipped. Sold. So, to get a particular achievement, you need to sell one of each. But then there's certain ones where their crops you grow, you need to sell 15. So, with the spring onion, I'd sell one. And keep the others as a source of food. Because you can eat them. So. You find a lot of them. They're not worth a lot of money. And it's better served at the start that you are. Uh, just use them as a way to eat. And replenish your food. Your energy I should say. Oh uh, Robin. Like. Wait what did she say? That homeless man can be where he is as long as he stays away from us. But is that a bad attitude? I know. It's one of those things that it's like... You can kind of understand where she's coming from. It's not great because... You're making assumptions about a person. But... It's not exactly an uncommon take. Like, I wouldn't call her a wanker for having that take. I'd say she's she's misguided. But I can kind of understand where she's coming from, right? It's like looking after her family. Demetrius is just being elitist. I guess she kind of is too, but... Alright, I'm walking home. It's like about 11. So your first day is actually pretty boring. I can understand why it can be jarring, because it's like, you're thinking, well, is this all this game is at this point? But the first day is usually the worst. It's that you're not going to get much done. Um, Alright. So at the start, um, in terms of selling things, so I'm just going to sell these two. Horseradish, I'm going to hang on to. Um, for two reasons. You can sell it if you want. I wouldn't. Because there's a thing later, and I guess this is kind of... Spoiling. But won't completely spoil it. But this makes a good gift for someone later. 
And when you get up, there's a lot of things about this game where you're going to be playing it, and then something's going to pop up, and you're going to be like, oh crap, I wish I had saved that, or oh crap, I wish I had saved money. So there's a lot of, like, benefit of hindsight situations in this game. To the point where, like, I restarted... The first time I played it, I restarted twice. Because it was that much of a... A deficit that I was like, man, I could have done so much better if I had just done this, so... I would just recommend selling, you know, just the stuff that we found on the beach. Keeping forage for now. Um... You can press that to auto stack. The spring onion, I guess I said I was going to ship one, just so it's shipped, so I'll ship it. Alright, I'm keeping that, because I want to give a gift. So, I have a little bit of energy left at the end of the day. What I'm going to do... Again, as long as... I'm in bed by, like, one, it's fine, so don't stress too much. But, you know... If you have a little bit of energy, just spend it. Especially early on. There's junk here. Let's just clear a little bit of the junk. That should do, because I'm not going to chop a whole tree down. That'll do. Press the button to auto stack. I'm going to put the axe away, because I doubt I'm going to do stuff. First thing in the morning, I'm going to water the crops. All right, I got everything I need. All right. So, I mean, I leveled up foraging because I probably chopped down a bunch of trees. So this is what I get. Field snack is something good at the start. It's food. So make note of like what you get. All right. And yeah, it'll just summarize what you've done today. So, you know, these are not really worth much, but I sold them anyway. Any questions? I feel like I'm running a class. That's okay. So, summarize your first day, you're just going to plant your crops. You're going to walk around town and meet as many people as you want. That's the bare minimum. And then what I like doing is going around with a scythe and just cutting down those bushes to try and get mixed seeds. That's all I do. Mixed seeds will help you, so then you don't have to buy more seeds when the time comes. <laughs> Alright, start the day, check the weather. Alright, so it's going to rain tomorrow, so tomorrow I don't have to water the crops. Good luck today, which, sure. Check your mail. Willie got back from his fishing trip, so hit, that's the fishing rod, you want to go there right away. Once you've done your morning stuff. All right, and that's the morning task done. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and this, and I'm going to try and clear a path to the bottom of the farm. Then I can walk to the bottom, because I want to make it easy to get through. To be able to cut across to do my morning stuff. So, I, I don't have much experience with this farm. Oh, that's annoying. There's a big rock in the way. So, I just, again, want to get mixed seeds and just clear anything that's in the way. Just so it's easier to get through. The big stumps and big rocks, don't bother with them. You can't chop them until you get an upgraded pickaxe and axe. Um, while I'm here, refill.
So I don't want to waste too much of my energy because I do want to fish today since the fishing rod is in play. But let's just make sure that the bottom exit is like... It doesn't have too much around it and then rubble doesn't spread to it. All right, that should do. So, yeah, inventory is already full. Okay. So, put this away. Put watering can, pickaxe, axe away. Um, keep scythe, keep hoe. I'm keeping this as a present. All right, and now I'm going out the bottom exit because that's how I'm going to do things now. I guess I should play to this farm's advantage. I might do that later. Because it looks like I got mining ores. That's kind of useful, but... Again, I'm not familiar with this map. Alright, so... Like I said... Hopefully today it's better. We come down here first. There we go, that's a bit better. Not that many, but at least, you know, it'll replenish my energy. Oh, there's another one. That's good. It'll give me, yeah, like 65 energy back. It'll pretty much get me back up to full if I eat them. And yeah, we're still trying to meet people, so at the start, if you're not sure who you, you haven't met, there'll be a question mark next to their name. So we haven't met her, 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 him. Okay, well, she's at the doctor's office. Ah. There's Marnie. But today... Day two, head to Willy's right away, which is the beach. Ahoy there, son. I can't do a pirate voice. Hey, there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big hole. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. So he just gives you a, a hand-me-down rod. Hang on. Pia. Supporting me, the art fishing stays alive. Hey. Alright, yeah, yeah, buy something from the shop. Okay. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's open now, so come back if you need supplies. I'm also buying anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Haha, <laughs> that's what me old pappy used to say. Alright. So I'm just gonna set up here. So here's the thing I recommend with fish. Keep the first one you catch of every fish. At least initially. Two reasons. The community center bundles. And then also every now and then there's quests. Or tasks, I guess, that a villager wants a certain fish.
So at least you're ready for it. Fishing is probably one of the best ways to make money that doesn't involve into going like extreme meta strategies where you have to look at how the game works fundamentally. <laughs> like, there are ways to make money that are insane, but that just requires such specialist knowledge, so I'm not going to cover that. Because I don't even know it properly. But just with basics, fishing is probably one of the better ways you can make money. Not a lot of people like fishing. I know people that don't like it. If you don't like fishing, the alternative is you can go the mining route. But the problem is the mines don't open at the start, so like... Just suck it up for the first week of the game, and then you can pivot. I do want to try some of the new fishing stuff, because there's a bunch of new items in the game, so... There's things that I'm not completely accustomed to yet. I'm going to be here until I run out of inventory space. Alright, my fishing leveled up. When it says that now, you've got some new ideas to sleep on, that means your skill for that particular thing you're doing has leveled up. Okay, treasure chests. Just hover over them as you're fishing, and then you collect them. It's a gamble, but if you can get it... It could give you something good at the start. Cull and bait. Um, bait's pretty common, so I'm just gonna trash it. Cull is very good to get. Oh damn, another treasure chest. Careful. Maybe my fishing will be good luck. Mixed seeds, alright. So, fiber's fine. I'll take the mixed seeds. We definitely want mixed seeds. Don't have to spend money on crops. Come on. Um, okay. So, with garbage, don't be afraid to hang on to it. Just right now, because I don't have the room, I'm going to trash it. But garbage can be recycled into usable items so hang on to garbage if you can it's not important if you can't but if you can hang on to it because you can get some decent stuff from recycling okay 
Okay, well now I have to make a choice. Um, I guess seaweed. All right, I'm gonna leave because my inventory is full of fish. Now I have to make a tough choice afterwards. Talk to people wherever possible. Don't go too far out of your way. The main way to get friendships is to just remember birthdays. And the Friday at the saloon is like, you meet a lot of people there. Not everyone, but most. I haven't met Haley yet, so I'll go here. She's here? Where is she? She hasn't come back yet. I'm trying to meet her because I... Oh, there she is. All right, cool. So, talk to her. You're a new farmer, boy. Ah, I'm Haley. Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. Yeah, yeah, have a flower. Mar, come here. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meet you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. This valley has a very vibrant and diverse ecosystem. That's one reason I was excited to move here. Where is the edge lord? The Edge Lord is Sebastian. That's just because likes to hang out in the rain and um oh, he's working. One of his favorite presents is literal tear well, frozen tears. <laughs> so I don't know. Have you come to ridicule me? I'm just minding my own business. Alright, so Mining's not open yet. I'm gonna go home and check out what I have at home with the mining. Alright, so there's one of those patches I was talking about. But these are one of the new ones. There's two types. There's ones that have grass on the end. And ones that don't. The ones... Oh, they're both here. This will give you seeds. They got carrot seeds. This will give you either... Okay, like some random resource... Or, uh, an artifact. Alright, cool. We got that out of the way. So I'm gonna put this away, the seeds away. And like I said, keeping one of every fish. So I'm keeping sardine. Keeping anchovy, keeping herring. The rest can go. Oh wait. Blander. The rest can go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get the pickaxe and the axe, just in case I need to clear stuff to get out of the way. Put away the fishing rod, because I don't need it. I'm going to eat these spring onions. Yeah, this is interesting. I wonder what, how much difference this little mining area is going to make. All right. I should make sure I can get here easily. Alright, so it's like a mini quarry. Okay. Yeah, geodes. Um, you keep those. You get them opened by Clint. 
All right, so I'm gonna go primarily after these because these are copper. If I'm lucky and get all of them. I'll probably crack these open tomorrow. Okay, how much do I have? So when you start getting low, just watch it. 12, 10, 8. I uh, probably don't want to risk it over a geode. That'll do. But I can keep swiping at these. Because it's free. have a look around because I haven't really seen this map in still like about a minute. Uh yeah it's not worth going through that. Alright. I'm gonna put this, this, this Okay, so tomorrow it's going to rain. Don't need watering can. I'm going to do this. The plan for day two, well, day three. I'm going to do some fishing. I'll get rid of this. Damn. I'm not used to having fishing that level already. Okay. Sunny tomorrow, no Queen of Sauce yet. Okay. Uh, hi, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of those ores, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I have an extra set of blue points. I want you to have them. Alright, furnace done. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you smelt out a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Alright. I don't think I can do that yet because you need a bunch of stone. Maybe I can. Let's see. I can. Okay, cool. 25 stone and a bunch of ore. So, they had enough. Putting it away, you need 5 pieces of ore and 1. Um, actually, I'm going to think ahead. Put it here. Just so it's out of the way. Alright. So you want to smelt whenever you can. That's just general rule. To start. Okay. I am going out the bottom exit. I'm going to check on the... Spring onions first. So when it's raining in spring, in the town river and here, you can find catfish. Which they sell for a lot. They're tricky to catch, but if you can get a few on the day that it rains, you can pretty much afford your backpack upgrades. That's what I want to do. Okay. 
Good. I got nine today. So. Have a nice supply of food. Wish me luck. All right. I like to stand here. Because then I can catch any people that walk by. Already a catfish. Oh, it's, it's really hard early on because of the the fishing barb, but if you can pull it off, it's pretty great. You only need to catch two, that's the thing, and it's already worthwhile. But it does require some luck. Sometimes the fish don't move much, sometimes they move around a lot. Like, that was kind of unlucky, but then... I'm more calm about this now because in multiplayer I'd be stressed for time. Here it's just well when your fishing time pauses, so you're fine. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. It's not all catfish, yeah. Like, you can catch normal fish. <laughs> oh, it's jumping around too much. If you don't like fishing, you can just... Oh, crap. You can chop down trees and stuff and then go talk to villagers. It's like the alternate way you can spend today. Or go to the beach and forage some stuff as well. You can also fish in the ocean, so then you're not going up against the catfish. Ooh, okay. So this is one of the new items. They do give you a buff if you eat them, but they also sell pretty well. I, I, I don't know. Like, I would sell it. In the interest of getting the backpack early, I would sell it. Yeah, 
man, I'm getting too many different qualities. Doesn't look like I'm going to be pretty lucky with this catfish, but that's okay. I'll still make money. That's just would have been nice. Because even catching one, it's, it's worth quite a bit. Enough to, to get you close to that upgrade. like if it wasn't obvious um when an item has a little star to it it's the quality so you know base quality doesn't have a star silver's next gold is after and then purple's like iridium and it's the same item it just sells for more what's the difference that's just quality If you're gonna use items in crafting, like try to get rid of the crappy quality ones and sell the ones with green um the the star. Oh, that's gotta be. the chest since it's an easy fish on the harder fishes it's like ah eh, don't stress about it stone wasn't even well i mean stone's a useful resource but wasn't that worth it so when it comes to algae and seaweed hang on to it i mean Trash it if you need the space early on, but definitely hang on to it after you have your storage problem solved. Hey, alright, there we go, got one. Okay, um, I'm gonna get rid of the stone. Okay, since I'm running low in space, now we do this. Actually, I'll eat the horseradish. Alright. Silver quality as well, so that's good. I should eat the spring onion. Alright, I'm gonna eat the spring onion now. Just so I'm not trying to juggle space. On the bright side, like, if I have any energy left over, I'll just chop a tree or something. But this is why going to that spot at the bottom every day 
is important because it's gonna keep you with energy. I'm going to talk to them, hopefully. Fish, come on! Ah, they're kind of past now. That's alright. Don't stress too much. Uh, I mean, on the bright side, I'm going to have a bunch of algae. I'm hoping with what I've caught today they'll give me enough to get the backpack upgrade tomorrow. Between the river jelly and the catfish it should be enough. If I get the second catfish I'll, I'll definitely have enough. There we go. Like, sometimes they're easy and then other times they're a pain, but... Alright, let's do catfish. So the reason getting algae and seaweed is important is you, you can make these things called fish ponds um, that lets you put a fish in and they kind of keep cultivating to get more fish in the pond. And they also start giving row, which you can turn into an artisan good that you sell. They also, some of them give resources, so. Um, you need... Five algae, five seaweed, and then a bunch of stone and some money to make it. So, at the very least, I'm amassing algae. It's like, that's what I mean when it's useful to have it. I'm trying to think what else I should touch on. I know what else. In collections, there's a tab for fish. It'll keep track of what you've caught. Um, I would recommend going on the wiki and seeing what fish can be caught every season and staying on top of that. Because you need to catch every fish at least once to get a particular item later that you'll want. So some of them is fishing, some of them is through crab pots. So yeah, this is what I have so far. And, you know, you have the same for the artifacts you find, minerals, recipes. Oh, they've got letters in there now. Anyway. Even if you don't like fishing, it's kind of, if you want the best chances to do things later, you kind of need to catch one of every fish. There are certain fish that are exclusive to the rain and exclusive to the sun, and there are also fish that only appear during a certain time range, so again, there's a section on the wiki for every season, and it'll tell you what fish is available that season, so stay on top of it. No one really remembers everything. Well, okay, now here's a tough choice. 
So stone, we're gonna get plenty of, that's fine. This is an artifact that we can give to Gunther, or we can get a fish or copper ore. So given that it's very early, ore is pretty valuable right now, it'll give me another bar. That fish is not really worth a lot, and I kind of already have these two. So in this instance, it's like, do I want the two, or do I want the one? Probably the two. Good today. Alright. Careful. Get that. Oh, wow. It's really, really... Alright. So. In terms of things I value. The iron is very good. It's eight. I can't say no to that. I'm going to get rid of the two cheapest fish, which is this, that. That's actually very lucky. Getting iron that early. I'll fish till about 10 p.m. and then I'll, I'll head home. Uh oh, it's Bream. Um, I'm gonna just get rid of it. Tough choices, but it's fine. Bream is like the night fish. I'd rather keep trying for the catfish. Because I've got three of these. It's like, if I had a couple, I would have swapped them. This is another catfish. Oh, nice. Just need to stick the landing. It's a geode. Don't worry about the geode. Alright, that'll do. I think a very good haul. That should give me the backpack upgrade. That is food. Okay, so here's a little little tip. If you don't have room, what you can do, you can click it, drag to drop it, and then you kind of move away from it. But you need to be next to the other item. So hang on. So There we go. So it hasn't it hasn't deleted it. It's on the floor. The reason I got this is because blueberry tart might be someone's favorite food. You know, the algae, whilst nice, I can probably get it again. But I think I can walk back. So anyway. Um, sell all the catfish. They're expensive. Sell that. Sell that. Keep one shad. Sell two. Keep one. Um, oh yeah, and I'm going to sell the river jelly. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to smelt this bar. Put this away. I'm going back for what I dropped. I should have enough time. Pick this up as well. But yeah, that shows just dumpster diving can be good. Yeah, there we go. I got my algae back. 
So if you ever finding yourself like, oh crap, I found something and I want to take it and don't want to get rid of something, you can do that. When you're near a body of water, it might fall into the water. But it should remain on the ground. Okay, so I do have a bit of energy left. Um, let me get this going. I'll put away the blueberry tart as like a, a present, potentially. You can see who likes it as an item and then keep it ready for their birthday. Um, but, you know, got about a minute. Let's just make sure we use as much energy as possible. Alright, that's about all I can do. Just double check that I checked. Yep. Alright. In bed. Okay, so I can make bait. I can make crab pot. And let's see how much I made today. So, yep. Those catfish. <laughs> now I have enough for my backpack upgrade. <laughs> Okay, uh, weather report. Clear and sunny, alright. Yep. The backpack upgrade. Alright. Okay, so... I have acorn and I have maple seed. So the other seed is pine. Pine is like the triangle tree. So if I can get, actually, let me water the crops first. Oh, I see a wormy spot. Oh, nice. Alright, got some coal. Okay, so I'm gonna cut down specifically some pine trees. Also, when you see this early on, do that, because you can get a seed from it. There's a reason I do that. And you'll see. There's another one. Alright, that should do. Okay, so these three seeds, you combine them, they make the field snack. I can make two of them. So that's a source of food. That's why I specifically went for a pine tree. Alright, I can put that away, I can put that away. So let's see, who haven't I met today? Okay, so that's Shane. He'll be at the bar, so don't have to worry about him. He's going to be at the bar. So these last three on tomorrow at the bar, they'll all be there. So I don't have to stress. All right, so start the morning routine. Got the south exit. Okay, tomorrow I might go up there again because it looks like it replenishes pretty quickly.
so, I mean, the first few days, fishing is really the only thing you have available to, because mining isn't quite there unless you pick this farm, and even then. But you'll get a letter in the mail that'll say that the mines are open, and that's when you can kind of go. Alright, excellent. Good amount today, alright. I'm gonna eat this one right away so it doesn't, like, waste inventory. Alright, so today I'm gonna fish at the ocean and try and get seaweed along with the ocean fish. I'm also gonna pop into Haley's and give her a second gift for the week. Okay, she's not out of her room yet, that's fine. Oh, was she moving? I think she was moving. No. Hold on. Can't remember if it's like at 10 a.m. No, it's not. Alright, I'll leave it. I'll get a chance later. Quickly check some of the bins. The air is starting to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. I'll be baking cookies today. I like to make flower shapes in the spring. I can't talk right now, young man. All right. Thought Lewis might get me there. Okay, Haley should be out now. Or at least moving. There we go. <laughs> 11 a.m. Here you go. One, to free up the inventory, and two, just friendship points. Still hasn't moved. Actually, I'm going to use this time to check the wiki, so... Blueberry Tart Stardew. Is it anyone's favorite? Linus loves Blueberry Tart, so keep it for Lion. But then again, what does he love exactly? Not exactly that much. Not exactly that much of a gain because you can give him a cactus fruit or a coconut later. But his friendship's kind of constant, so maybe that might be better served as like a food source when I'm progressing in the mines. It depends. I guess it depends when Linus's birthday is. Because if it's early on, sure, that's easy. Oh. Just talk to him. You well? I am well. Okay. I'm gonna set up here for the day. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, should have gone to. Hold on, change of plan. I kind of autopiloted to the beach. I'm still going to the beach, but I kind of didn't do the thing I said I was going to do. All right, it happens. There we go. Storage problems are over. And on day four, so very early.
good. I want seaweed. I need five at least, so we'll see how we go. I mean, don't give it all at once. gonna get all five right away. There's a chest. No, it's a stone. I mean, I guess I don't mind getting stone, because I do need some for construction later. Okay, one more, and then that's enough for one pond. spot. So the characters have set spots they go to every day. And if things are in their way, they get confused or they just push through. If it's an item, they'll destroy the item. So beware. Don't put things in characters' paths. I might crack some of those open tomorrow.
When it's like, I don't know, 7.30, I might move to the town and try and get a bream so then I have that out of the way. I think it's tomorrow when the mines open, so it'll it'll become different then. Halibut. Okay, there's another new fish. gonna move to town and try and catch the bream because uh, that's in a bundle usually another thing one of the achievements is you have to cook all the dishes there is a recipe that involves the bream so I mean you can hang on to two That'd be fine for energy. One. Just need a second one. Saying it's 10 p.m. and got a little bit of time. I can pop in here and just do some quick socializing. So there's Clint, there's Shane. So it's just one person left, two people. Well, one person after now, which we'll meet tomorrow. There's Gus, and there's Emily. The good thing is I didn't use any of my food, so when the mining opens up, I'll have a nice food supply. I'll be able to progress in the mines pretty quick. So I don't have much energy, or I won't really do a whole lot right now. But, put this away. I'm gonna make another chest. If you wanna grab half of a stack, you hold the shift key and go, bah. Gives you half of that stack. I'm gonna make a second chest. So you won't be able to see this properly, but the way I organize chests is in an upside down U shape. 
and you'll see why eventually. Okay, but what I'm going to do is move the fish to its own dedicated chest. Keep the bream, one herring. Okay, hang on. I have anchovy. Okay, so I'm going to take out the gold sardine into solid, put a regular quality in. That's fine. Herring is fine. Put the shad in. I think that's everything. Yep. Okay. Now, seaweed. That. I'm keeping garbage. Like I said, that's like good. Since we have the backpack now, I wouldn't bother selling these. Keep them. They'll be useful later. But any anything that is like a crab pot thing labeled as fish, keep. Um, there's a bundle that involves it. But also later, they're not really worth selling because they don't make a lot of money, but you can cook them to make more money out of them. So, for now, let's just get rid of everything else. And I'll just make sure everything is ready for tomorrow. So, watering can. Um, I said I was going to go mining, so tomorrow I'm going to take that. At this point, now that I have the second backpack, I can kind of hang on to everything as well if I want. Alright, that'll do. Alright, not bad. It's sunny again. Alright. Oh, there's the cat. I don't know what to call the cat. What should I call the cat? Found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Yeah. Killer? <laughs> Wanna call the cat killer? Fine. Okay, so first harvest is done. Okay. So when you get this letter, this Jojo letter, that means that the mining is done. You're ready to mine. Now, when it comes to this, you need one for the bundle, and then you keep one for quests. You can sell the rest. There are, if there are people, you'll find stuff that like min maxing people. They will take this and they will use it as a food source, so then they can progress in the mines. You can do that as well, but I'd usually just do the spring onions and these to do that. So it's up to you. You can keep them as a food source. You can sell them. I sell them. Um. So, it almost, almost completely paid off. Like, I had 15 parsnips down, and I have 14 seeds, so almost. In fact, it's fine because I wanted to grow green beans, and green beans don't come in mixed seeds, so it works out. So I'm just going to go buy um, a green bean. And maybe some flowers, so that's how I'll do it. So I'll expand a little bit. 
Don't want to go too overboard initially because there's no scarecrow yet. And your crops will get eaten. But you can buy the seeds and then plant them once it's ready. So just be wary of that. It's like, don't go overboard because you'll get your first harvest, but then you won't have the scarecrow recipe until the next day, which is kind of annoying. Alright, so let's start the loop. Except I guess we're playing specifically to this farm. That's all I'll get. I'll just clear this so it doesn't block the path. But yeah, we're done here. Um, okay. Nice. Okay, so Fridays and Sundays, there is a traveling merchant that appears in town. Well, here. Yeah. Be sure to check it. Because they'll sell things that um, a good for bundle. Nothing really that'll save time. For me, at least. The squid, it's for fishing, and it doesn't happen till later, so you could get that if it's one of your bundles, but we don't know our bundles yet, so. The only thing I would recommend getting here, if you have the money, is the coffee. Because planting coffee is, is great. But there was no coffee. Okay, so the only thing on the calendar that I'm keeping in mind is Lewis has his birthday on Sunday. That's it. No spring onions, really. Wow. Not even one? I mean, it's still the first week. Should be something. Oh, well. I didn't know you. Yeah, okay. Okay, exclamation mark means there's a quest, so we have one. Need a bream for a pizza. So, remember? Why I caught extras? So I'm gonna go, go back to the farm and grab that for Leah. It'll give me money but also make her happy. So, here's the thing. There's two ways you can do this. You can either choose to wander aimlessly until you find the person, or you can look up where they are. So, you go on the wiki. Let's look up Leah. Um, it'll have a schedule, you expand in spring. Okay, so... Normal schedule. So she's in her cottage until midday. So there's still some time. But then she'll be at... Hang on, Friday. Okay, she's going to be at the saloon tonight, so I can give it to her at the saloon. Cool. So I'll just keep it in my inventory. Um, I'm going to go and buy some seeds and come back and plant them and then head to the mines. Oh, this scene finally played. I was wondering when this was going to start. Anyway. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, what's left of it, anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it, it's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. 
But listen to me, I sound like an opal. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone buys a Georgia Co. membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. So when he says this is basically the... What I was saying earlier. Just the plot dividing. It's like... You either go down the route of restoring this, or you buy the membership at the Georgia Mart. And then... It's the, uh, capitalist <laughs> playthrough. I don't know. Corporate playthrough. Let's go inside. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. The place is more dilapidated than I remember. Yeah, ha, ha What? What's the matter, you ill? You saw something? Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. You're worrying me, Krano. Look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. All right. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. And so, the moment you get this, you just walk back in. Just click this. You won't be able to read it, so don't bother. It's not a puzzle or anything, it's just the next day it'll resolve itself. Alright. It did cause me to deviate a little from my plans, but that's alright. Okay. So... One bean starter. Okay. So... Two. Two. What did I do? No. Let's do one more bean starter. That'll do. I was just thinking of how many spots I had free. The flowers are there just in case I do get a beehive, which is in the realm of possibility. Um, but at worst, they're going to be presents, so... Okay, so I'm gonna be careful with these because you can't walk through them, so don't make them get too much in your eye. There we go. Right, I'm going out the north exit. So tonight we will finish the, uh, the meet everyone quest because Sebastian will be there. Okay, I'll pick up that forage. If I run into Linus, I'll just give him it. But leeks specifically. There we go. There we go, Linus. Okay. Hmm. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there, but a dark place undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. 
Yeah, take this. You might need it. Okay, rusty sword. My name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I think about making you a member. Alright, so... I'm just gonna reorganize things. Okay. So the mines... How they work, you come down. Every five floors does a resting stop. So it's like the next milestone will be five. Um, the elevator at the start will let you jump to that floor. So as you're going through this, just think in lots of five. Try to make it to the next, you know, five, one. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, etc. Um, you have a separate health bar. So with the health, at the start, it's not going to be too tricky to maintain. If you get hit by an enemy, you're not going to lose that much health. But later on, it's important to watch that health. Now, if you want to survive very easily, you need food. And if you ever get into trouble and you take a hit, hit escape or bring up your menu. And see how my icon is red here? It's like, that means I have my sword up active. So what I do is I swap the sword and then immediately hit right click it'll ask you to do that you eat and then you're fine you've healed and then you just swap it back whenever you do that time is frozen so enemies will stop attacking you when you have your menu up so take your time you don't need to rush but that's one way you can make sure you stay alive in combat situations is just bring up your menu and just put your food item in whatever item's active and you'll be fine. But yeah, the objective is just hit rocks. There's a ladder that can appear randomly from either hitting the rock or from fighting and killing things. Sometimes the ladder will just be there like this. So because we have a food supply, Ooh, nice dwarf scroll. Um, we can get pretty far. But early on, it's a bit of a struggle. And you see these boxes as well. Crack them open. They have goodies. Oh, damn, already. I got a cherry bomb. Okay. Well, we got a couple things to do. But just keep progressing. It's Friday night. So tonight is a good social night um, at the saloon. As long as we're getting there... About like nine o'clock, it should be okay. Maybe ten. Are you kidding me? That's a second dwarf scroll. All right, the dwarf scroll. There's four of them. Once you get all four, you can um, talk to a particular NPC that we're gonna see. Um, they take a while to get. I've already gotten two of them. That's insane. Um, so with the weapons, you have three types. You have sword, dagger, and heavy weapons. So, the difference between the three is daggers do jabs in the short range. Swords have like a parry. If you do that in time, you can parry. And the hammers do like a massive swing that knocks enemies back. I would recommend the sword. The other two, they're not that great in my opinion. They don't really... They're not really comparable. Um, but you'll see. So, we can probably get a little bit. I've already had an amazing run already just by getting the Dwarf Scrolls. Okay, so... I've hit five, so now the mine has progress. Also, be sure to check this, because every now and then you'll have stuff that you haven't done properly. Okay, anyway. We can probably make... What? Alright, I found a glow ring. So you have a loadout for two rings and boots. Boots are your form of defense. It's like your armor. 
but that's huge early on. Kind of incredible what I've gotten. Given how bad luck I had with the seeds early on, this makes up for it. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, so I'm kind of running low on health. I'm gonna eat these. I mean energy, sorry, not health. I'll just eat these. Just to free up an inventory slot, but then also give me most of my energy back. Okay, good. I wanted one of these. These are pretty common, but they have a very specific use early on. I'll be able to actually show because I have a way to get there. All right. And yeah, I'm prioritizing hitting the copper. So then I get copper bars. You also want to collect these crystals where possible. The first one you collect, donate it to Gunther. That's, you kind of have to. Otherwise, yeah. Okay, so now we're at 10. And 10 will give me a dagger, which I don't really care about. Um, this is what I would do. The dagger, you might be tempted to take it, but because it does more damage, you're like, oh, cool, this is an upgrade and it does crit. But it's kind of bad at defending yourself. It just has such a short range and yeah, it's not great early on. So I would hang on to it and go there later to sell it. But I guess I haven't been inducted yet. All right. So the moment you get your first cherry bomb, do this. And then you can talk to the dwarf. Now the dwarf will be speaking gibberish until he find all four door scrolls, but you can still gift them stuff. So. Anytime you have quartz, just give him one. He's basically saying, ah, oh, this reminds me of home. And that means he likes that gift. Because if we go... Yeah. You'll say, hey, he likes that. And that is such a common thing. So as long as you come to the mines and on your way out, um, just give him one of these because they're really common. You'll form friendship with the dwarf very, very quickly. That's a, that's a little tip there. Those crystals are so plentiful, like, you're not going to need them. I'm not sure I can go down five floors. Let's try. I still have the, uh... Spring onions. All right, minecarts. Right-click them, because you can harvest them. It might not be obvious, but you get a bunch of ore. Every time you see a minecart, right-click it. It's something that's not explained, and I, myself, fell for this. I didn't know you could right-click them to harvest until I did it accidentally one day. And every time I play this game, there's always someone that's like, wait, you can harvest that? So... Yeah. One of those things that is not explained. Um, I left the mines because I'm low on energy and I need to socialize anyway. It's Friday. You can be completely antisocial and just stick to tasks and kind of choose to be social later. It's pretty valid. But literally the only reason I'm here is to talk to you. Come here. There you go. That's everyone. I've talked to everyone. Um, Leah's still here. Good. Alright, so she wanted a bream. There we go. Now, Leah is like Linus, who also likes foraging. So if you give her this. 
she likes that stuff, but um, there's an immediate quest after meeting everyone to give someone a gift. So you get 100 gold for that. And those are not worth 100 gold. So there you go. Yeah. In terms of friendships, um, you know, the people that are single... Like, if you want to pursue... I guess most of the bachelors are gone. Yeah. But Emily, you can gift... This sort of stuff, like minerals. And she'll love that stuff. So if you go down the mining route, she's... Pretty straightforward to pursue a relationship with. Um... Elliot likes just... A bunch of stuff that's kind of hard to acquire early on. So your best bet's probably just flowers. Yeah, alright, we're done. And I have a bit of stone, so I'm gonna make another... Another one of these furnaces. They're useful to have a, a few of them. Like, I'd say five. It's like comfortable. Because then you need to make just five bars to upgrade your gear. Then it's easy to do that. For first run at the mines, that was kind of crazy. I'm going to put this in here. I'll sell it later. Um, okay. So. What I like doing is hang on to the minerals for gifts. Because they are something that people generally like. With a couple of exceptions. But you need one to donate. So. I'm going to go there tomorrow to donate. I'm going to put the bomb away. So it don't cause any accidents. Cave carrot goes in. Bug meat goes in. Yeah, I'm all set for tomorrow. Because if I can't think of something to give Lois, I'll just give him that. And it should give good friendship points. And yeah, there we go. There's the Scarecrow. Um, so hold on. Okay, so... I think I'll get through the first week, and that should cover this first video thing. Okay. Very happy spirits. Alright, so... I got a... I got told that I need to kill ten slimes. Now we gotta go see the wizard. Um, then, yeah, wells, which mm, I wouldn't recommend making a well. That's kind of outdated, but we'll get to that. Um, it auto stacked the stuff that I was going to give to Gunther. Since we're going to Gunther. I'm going to bring my geodes as well. Okay. Alright, so... With the pet... Pet them. <laughs> Water their bowl. There's actually a reason to do so now. Before this patch... Like, you did it out of the kindness of your own heart. It's just like, you know, it's a pet. You take care of it. But, in terms of whatever happens in-game, eh, there wasn't a whole lot to it. But now there is. So, be sure to do this. It's actually nice that, um... Everything is close by. Okay, and like I said early on, whenever you see this, do it. Because if you get... 
three different types. You can make a field snack. And it only costs one swing of the pickaxe, so it's kind of worth it. But yeah, we're heading here first. This is one of the most annoying friendships to maintain, so it's... Like, well... I wouldn't stress too much about it for later. But you do have to come here to do this first. After you've done that community center thing where you go read the note. This is pretty much just a cutscene that sets you up. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediary between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred cha, you get the point. And you, Chrono, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves Junimos, mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written with in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here, I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. <laughs> I love how he just walks back in through the door. I found the note. Language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We the Junimo are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? Aha! Come here. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss, grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. You do get energy. Now, <laughs> you're seeing some stuff, which I have to question what's in what's in it. I'd be concerned slash seeking medical attention if I started seeing this. You've gained the power of forest magic and decipher the meaning of the Junimo scrolls. So now we can read the stuff in the community center. And it means the bundles are now available. So that's cool. But, you know, got our energy back from the morning tasks. The important thing. I'm just going to walk down this way to head towards the spring onion stuff. Since it's on the way. This dude just sells hats when you get an achievement. I mean, you can have a look, but most of them, I don't know, they're not that great. You can get better hats later. Okay. Actually, some string onions here today. Good. Okay, no different quality. That's nice. Okay, so first stop. Talk 
to you. Now, because I am someone that knows things, <laughs> there is a fish that I need to make sure that I get. Um, it's called the sunfish. So, it appears during the daytime. And since we're here, I'll catch it. I think you need one for the bundle and one typically for a recipe. I don't want to wait till too long, but I figured while I'm here, let's try. I also want to double check that Lewis's birthday is on Sunday, not Saturday. I'm pretty sure it's Sunday. Come on. There you go. Hopefully the sunfish. Chub, but that is also typically in a bundle, so that's fine. I'll try till midday. If nothing happens, then I'll, I'll move on. But I figured while I'm here. Because I don't tend to go for fishing during the day. I kind of lean more towards nighttime fishing. That's just me, because usually in the morning I'm doing the farming stuff, doing a bunch of different things. I tend to forget, but I'm trying to stay on top of it this time. Go. All right, one more. Also leveled up fishing, so that's nice. Come on. Day, but like I'm pushing it a little more. Alright, let's just go. I can still fish in town if I want. I just don't want to miss the opportunity to do the things that I want to do. And just in case it's annoying with Lewis's birthday, talk to Granny. Parsnip, so there we go. Marnie wants a parsnip. I kept one. See how it is tomorrow. That's why, I, yeah, kept one. Um, I guess I'll go back to the farm. So before we go in here, I'm going to check on Clint. Okay, so we're gonna process geodes. It's worth doing this, because you'll find things for the museum, but also... If you got duplicates, you can sell them. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back. They don't have room. That's okay. So the way you know if you've donated something or not, it'll say Gunther can tell you more about this if you haven't donated. If you have, it won't say that. Let's 
just keep this organized or come out it. Okay, and every now and then you'll hit a milestone and you can get a reward. So, cool. Cauliflower. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure that this was done, but I need to go back to the farm and set up some things. Um, let's just process the last of the geodes. Yeah, okay. fish here for the sunfish. I'm going to try here. I just want one more. Come on. want it out of the way. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully that's it. Yep. Alright. Got my second sunfish. We're out of here. Just me or does Abigail have an unhealthy interest in doom and gloom? Maybe I'm just too old to understand. Um, can I catch up to Jody? Yeah, I'll catch up. Hi. Need something? No, just saying hi. Social points. It's honestly one of the hardest things about this game is just balancing your time. Okay, well now that bundles are unlocked, I kind of need to start hanging on to certain things. Okay, so both the sunfish, keeping one chub, maybe two, because sometimes you do get a bundle that gets an alternate version of it. Putting the seeds in, clay, keeping driftwood, I'll sell the golden chub. Yeah, this can be sold. Um... Alright, I'm going to expand the farm area, but before I can do that, I need to make a scarecrow. So, 50 wood, one coal, fiber. It's also a task. I probably should have done that at the start, but, you know. Okay, uh, Marnie needs a parsnip. But also... If we look here now, there'll be a little icon here. Community center. So, this are the things we need to donate. Okay, so... That's not too bad. Um, so, foraging ones are pretty easy. It's just stuff you find around the place. Already got a cave carrot. Construction. Alright, need a bunch of wood and hardwood. Summer foraging. Pretty standard. We don't have the crops bundle yet, because you know, we need to complete foraging first, so... Um... Wait, what was it? I might already have it. I just need a leak. Yeah, I just need a leak. Okay. All right, I'm going to expand a little here. Okay, 
A scarecrow has a pretty big range. Unfortunately, it doesn't really show you what that range is. But, I mean, just trust that it, it covers quite a bit. You'll kind of see how mine are spaced out. I kind of do it by feel. I may have overdone it here. Yeah, I overdid it. Let me just clean it up. If I find another mixed seed, I'll plant it. Otherwise, that's fine. Um... I could try and go to Marnie, but I think that place closes. So, wait, did I feed the cat? Yeah, cat bowl done. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can find a leak just lying around. For some reason, I have a lot of luck finding them in the mountains here. But otherwise, like, it's no rush. It's just... Just gonna have a quick look here. Yep, there they are. Alright, cool. Let's go donate them. good because I can start the next ones. I might still have time for mining. Worst, I have a gift for Lewis. Okay. That. 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 And then I got spring seeds, which I guess I can grow. Um... So foraging had that. Just think if I have anything else. Okay, I'm gonna see if Marnie is at the bar. If she's not, I'm gonna donate things. Uh, but let's have a look as well. Carrot is part of it. That's interesting. Ooh. That's a different one. Okay. Brewing. That should be fine. I think I need to make friends here. So with T, yeah. Uh, I need to make friends to get that. Okay. All crops. What about fishing? I've gotten a good start, except I need another catfish. I've got that. Um, eel, I might need to look up. Wood skip. Okay. Crab pot's always straightforward. Okay. I kind of got a, a feel for what I need to do. Okay, um, I guess I need to make sure I gift things. Oh, she's here, cool. Then, here you go.
That's a free money. Um, Leah's here, I'll give her a spring onion. Just easy friendship points for her. Oh, I already talked to him today, I guess. So, you kind of have a choice with these seeds. You can either choose to plant them, or you can keep them in your inventory. There's merits to both. I think I'm going to go with planting a few, not all of them. Because the more you have crop-wise, the more energy you have to spend in the morning and time you have to spend in the morning. So I'm going to balance it out. But also you can use these seeds to make tea later, so keeping them is also fine. That's it. Keep these. their presents. Um, so let's look at Lewis. I know with him specifically, it's... I doubt I have anything that he really, really likes. So he likes hot peppers and a bunch of dishes that we're just never going to have at this point. Um, but then he has universal likes. So, he likes minerals. Um, what else have we got? Three tree minerals. Sorry, I'm just looking this up. It looks like a mineral is probably the best way to go. The nighttime is pretty. It is nice. They do a good job with the lighting. Yeah, I mean, these are fine. I'll give him. I'll give him that for his birthday. Okay, and since I have a bit of energy left, I'll just go cut down a tree or something. Clear debris. Probably get away with cutting down this tree. There we go. Good enough. As long, yeah, be careful. Don't drop below 10, would be my recommendation. Okay. I think we're good. Actually, before I go to bed, let's see if I can put anything to smelt. Yes, I can. Always be smelting. Alright, that'll do. Another sunny day. Okay. Okay, recycling machine, worm bin, deluxe bait. Got it. Not a whole lot of money, mate. Alright, well, let's wrap up this first week. Queen of Sauce. Stuff right. Weather report. Clear and sunny. What about luck? 
displays. But again, it's like, luck is a weird thing. It does have an effect on the game, but it's not like a disastrous effect. So when it comes to, like, how many crops you should have, it's dependent on how you want to play. I mean, if you want to spend all your energy early on, then yeah, just do more. But for this layout, because it's not really oriented at farming too much, you can farm, but it's kind of tricky to do it properly. Um... Having a small farm is probably better, and then you can focus on other things. Alright, that's done. So Sunday, traveling merchant day, we're gonna go have a look, just in case there's a coffee bean. That's pretty much the only reason. I see a... Couple of spots actually. Yeah, it's stone, but still worth it. I have Lewis's birthday on present on me, so that's fine. Okay, so dandelion, I mean... Only some people like it. Hops! But I'm gonna get that anyway. Very sapling. Okay, that's insane. Um, so the red cabbage is a crop you can only grow in the second year. And it's usually it can be a bundle item, but I don't think it is this time. I'm gonna double check. But okay, hang on. Let me see. Give me a minute. Red cabbage is used in the dye bundle on the bulletin board. So I won't know if it's in the bundle or not. It's expensive, but it's like it would se secure things. It's like at worst I can make seeds out of it. I might have to go in on this. All right. We'll see if it pays off. If it does, I'll be happy. That's one of those items that kind of prevents you from finishing your bundles in the first year. So the fact that it's on offer, it's like, it's expensive, but the reason you want to do things quicker is just the rewards you get from them. You get those rewards sooner, which means you can progress quicker. So that's... It's a gamble, but we'll see if it pays off. No spring onions today, okay. I'm gonna find Lewis. If you really wanna be, I guess, cheesy, or if you wanna cheat, you can always come down and check, and then if there's nothing there, just exit the game and load it, and just, Pretend like you didn't go down there. <laughs> if you're really that stressed for time, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh, she saw. But you're facing the other way. Do you have eyes in the back of your head? I got caught. 
It's a whole new week, so I'm going to give. If she started walking, she'll start walking in five seconds. There we go. It isn't creepy that I know. <laughs> you play this game often enough and you kind of learn where people are or where they start their day at least. Alright. Happy birthday. There you go. And you can see just by that it already gave quite a bit. So if you find a present that they love from the wiki and you can give that on their birthday, it's worth a lot. Okay, there's another quest. We hunted to slay eight slimes. Perfect. We definitely want to do that. And you get a ticket for it. Tickets are a new thing they've added in 1.6, so... Get to that once we get them. They're definitely worthwhile. It's something that, again, wasn't really explained at all until you start doing it, but... Yeah. I'll explain it. Hey Clive, am I enjoying 1.6? Yeah. I've been playing it in multiplayer, but uh, um, the person I'm playing with isn't around till later, and I felt like playing, so I'm doing, I guess, kind of a beginner's video to it. Just how to get up and running in it, and covering some of the new stuff that 1.6 has. So then it's like, I can play the game, <laughs> and it has a purpose later. Have you tried it at all? I am gonna go to the mines. Oh! Definitely want these. Been enjoying it? Nice. Yeah, I think in the multiplayer file, I just got to Ginger Island recently, so. Here you go, Linus. Finally got perfection this week. Nice. Okay. So we want to murder slimes wherever they may appear. In general, I, I fight things early on anyway. I kind of pick fights. And a crab. No. I've been trying to play better early on. Every time I play this game, I get a bit better at, like, managing my time, but also what to do. Okay, no ladder yet. Okay, perfect. Give that to the dwarf on the way out. The only thing you wish there was more of is like the advanced furnace. Oh yeah, the very light game thing. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of things that I like the idea, but then they haven't applied it across the board. 
One of the other things that I personally want is just more options for flooring and things you can place outside as just general decorations. It's just... When you compare it to other games in this sort of genre, it's kind of lacking. I mean, they have added more furniture catalogs, but it's all for inside stuff, which... Yeah, I don't know. Am I de a decor person? I mean, I enjoy it. But I can understand why it's not the most important thing. But there is a large uh, subset of the player base that like installs mods and stuff because they want a different look or more customization options. But another thing is just, I guess, some of the balance, like if we're talking about things that you're playing with, some of the balancing is a bit weird. There's certain items that by the time you get them, they're not really of much use anymore. There's quite a bit of that going on. Particularly of weapons, it's most of the weapons you find, by the time you find it, it's, you've already got the galaxy sword. And I don't know, if like, something like a salvaging system would be cool, where you could turn those weapons you find into resources or something. Then at least they're not pointless. Did I play Paleo? Uh, I did not. Mainly because it labeled itself as an MMO, and I've just never really been into MMOs. I should have killed the slimes. What was I doing? There were so many there, I could have had the thing. Want to chuckle till have weapon disenchanting? That's cool. Else. Like cooking is a bit of a strange one as well. It's like you're kind of getting recipes, but then you can't really make them. And then when you get the cookout kit, it's at that point you're pretty much at the point where you have a house. Oh, maybe. Okay. Sorry. I misread. Not really much known about that game, eh? I know the dagger thing was tempting, but it's just not a good weapon, trust me. I don't think of what else I would want to see. be nice to connect harvesters with kitchen storage. Oh, yeah. I think the other thing is Junimos, especially given what they've added to this patch, need a rework. There's a bunch of things that's kind of like, hmm, it's a bit less useful.
But yeah, that's all light game stuff. Keeping an eye on the time. I can be here till about midnight and still safely get home. Okay, there's this there's my last slimes. Good. Whenever there's minecart tracks on the ground, just be sure to follow them because there's a minecart at the end of coal. Well, in the in these caverns, not later ones. Later ones, there's no guarantee. But in this one, yes. There we go. I'm not sure I'll get to the next floor. Oh, no, it's a spiral layout. Oh, this is the worst layout. Okay, if I don't get this, like, in the next few seconds, I'm leaving. Yeah. And go to about here. All right, leaving. No shame in backing out. I gotta give this to the dwarf before I leave. It's nice that it still counts as friendship despite not knowing the dwarf language. But it's the easiest way to get hit that friendship up is just every time you're there, just give him one of those crystals and it'll be full in no time. By the time you get all the dwarf scrolls, you'll be solid with the friendship. And it's not like those uh, crystals are rare. They're pretty plentiful. You only really need them for one reason and even then it's like, well, there's other ways to get what you need. Okay, so as always, always be smelting. And uh, that's going to go to Gunther. Whoops. Keep that. I might need to make another chest. Okay, let me make another chest. So keeping the upside down U pattern. All right, uh, for that chest, I'm just gonna make it like presents slash things that could potentially go in the bundle. So this is my knowledge here. Um, that can stay there. I can't believe I got the red cabbage, like that's nuts. Oh, wait, geodes aren't supposed to go in there. That goes to Gunther. Okay. Yep. I think we are good. Okay. Just double checking. Yep. I should probably turn this on. There we go. Ambience. Okay. Well, that covers the first week. I'll exit the title, because I forgot to, like, end it there. So, I'll end this video on YouTube now. Um, not that the stream is ending, because this is being done live. But it's a good stopping point. 
so then the video doesn't become extra long, and at least this is covering the first week of what I would do in-game. I mean, there's other things you can do, but... Yeah, hope it was of some help. Uh, if you did enjoy and you're watching us later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you do want to support any other content over there, uh, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe, or you can also watch me play other things by clicking one of those videos that pop up at the end. Uh, yeah, thanks to those that do that, it does help out quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, let me know if this was of any use, and, you know, again, I'm gonna do this erratically, unless there's <laughs> a lot of interest in it. So do let me know if this was useful by any means. Because I am playing this in multiplayer, and that's probably gonna be the thing you see the most, but... I felt like playing this today because it's kind of miserable outside and I had nothing else to do, so... I figured, eh, I'll do like a kind of beginner's thing. So yeah, hope you enjoyed.